Hi guys, it's Lindsay and today I am sharing with you all of my current favorite things because it has been a long time since I filmed one of these videos and as you guys know, I get really excited and passionate to talk about my favorite things on the internet because I just have a lot of favorite things, you know? I'm trying new things out all the time, buying new clothes, being sent makeup, gotta try it all out and gotta let you guys know what I like. Also, if you didn't know, I just released my second drop of merchandise. So the first one had just a t-shirt, sweatshirt, some phone cases, but now we also have posters of some of my design artwork and there is also a really cute Emo Girls Clubhouse mug. I know a couple people have already received theirs, but I know a lot is in the mail. So. Please send me photos once you receive them. I am so excited. First thing I wanted to talk about are actually two phone cases that I've been going in between the past couple months. And that is this pink cheetah one, which is from Wildflower Cases, and this pink and red cherry case. They're both super 90s and just pink and girly, and I've weirdly been really into being pink and girly lately. Almost everything in this video is either pink or red. Second, I've been taking a lot of film photos lately, um, which you might have noticed on my Instagram. I've always really been into using disposables, but I recently, or at least within the last year, got a film camera from one of my amazing subscribers, Jeanette. Uh, we met up at a concert and she gifted it to me, and it has just been like a gift that keeps on giving. This is the most amazing camera and I love it so much. Not only is it film, it's automatic, so it's super easy to use, has a great flash, takes beautiful photos. I'll definitely be sure to put some on the screen. If I posted a photo and said it was a disposable, that would be a Fujifilm disposable. That's the brand that I would buy them from. And then this camera is an Olympus Stylus Zoom 70 and I love it. I'll see if I can find it online and link it for you guys because uh, yeah, it's really just the best. Next, I wanted to talk about some makeup and skincare items that I've been loving lately because if you can't tell, um, I've been definitely more into skincare than makeup lately. I pretty much have only been wearing like mascara, brow gel, and like some concealer every day, which is definitely very new for me. I used to be like a full foundation, eyeshadow, winged eyeliner kind of gal, um, but I've been, you know, I guess it's maybe it's senior year having this effect on me, but I also just got my lash extensions off over the summer, um, and I have just been really into my own natural lashes. The two mascaras that I am here to talk about today are the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is super famous. You've definitely heard of it, probably tried it. I think it's the best-selling mascara in the world, if I'm not mistaken. Personally, I think that these mascaras are very interchangeable. I think that they're extremely similar in that they have a very thick formula, very large brush, and it really gets your lashes nice and like thick and dark at the base and really long and extended. Um, the Kush Mascara, I believe, has fibers in it, so that one really extends. Like, this one definitely makes them a little longer, where this one, I think, adds a lot more fullness at the base. So kind of depending what you want, even most of the time I'll, like, mix them, like, put one coat on and then, like, put more on later of a different one. So I would totally recommend checking either out or, like, checking out the other one if you have only tried one of these. Since we're on the topic of beauty, I wanted to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Faux Lane. And if you haven't heard of Faux Lane, they they are an online retailer of basically curated skincare, body care, household products. All the products on their site go through a five-step process to make sure they are as clean as the brands making them say they are, which is amazing because there are a lot of toxic ingredients that can secretly be in products, especially larger brands. They have these little pouches that you can get of um, you know, just like a trial run of some of their products. So I have the Clean Beauty Essentials Kit, which basically is good for like trial running some new clean beauty products. So that is what I've been using lately, and I discovered a brand that I really like, and it is called Osea, O-S-E-A. I've seen people use it before, but I really want to look into more of their products because this cleanser is for dry skin and that's what I have. In addition to that, they also sell one of my favorite brands on their site, um, which is Herbivore. And this is the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water, which 
is basically a hydrating face mist and if you can't tell I've used about half of this bottle. I know that I mentioned it in my self care video but this is my favorite product and everyone in our house loves this rose water. I have to like sparingly use it. Before moving into fashion favorites I will put the promo code on the screen but basically you're gonna go to folane.com slash lindsayrem and you can get that clean essentials kit for only $22 which is over 50% off the normal price. You can even see if some of your favorite brands are on there. First style favorite has to be my cherry earrings from Ventron Chronicles. I really love these. They're super special to me. I love how one of the cherries is larger than the other. When I saw these, I just knew that I needed them and then they sent them to me in the mail and I was just so pleased beyond words. I've been wearing them a lot lately and they're super lightweight. So if you've been on the market for some cherry earrings, this is a wonderful pair. If you didn't know, in California where I live, it has been about 80 degrees every single day of October. Uh, but I wanted to talk about one of my favorite fuzzy sweaters that I just can't get enough of. And it is this checkered sweater from Lazy Oaf. There's just something about small cardigans that I've been really into lately. I'm wearing one right now. This one's from Urban Outfitters. I got it on sale. But this one I picked up in London and I feel like it just is sentimental. It holds those memories for me but it's also just one of the most unique pieces of clothing I've ever seen. Another statement piece that I just can't stop wearing, which is a problem because statement pieces, you know, make a statement. So when you start wearing them a lot, people are like, is that all you own? Um, but anyways, uh, another statement piece of mine that I've been loving is my Realization Par Sid skirt. It is so precious. I love the heart print. This was quite a splurge for me. I really don't regret it. It's made out of a beautiful silk material and it was just a little birthday gift to myself. I wore it on the first day of school and I've been trying to avoid wearing it every single day. Even though I want to, it has an elastic waist so it's super comfortable. You can wear it like high-waisted or not high-waisted. I've been loving wearing it just with like a t-shirt tied to make it kind of more casual, but I also worn it out to like dinner with like some heels. I wanted to buy everything that Realization Pars Sells. Also, if you didn't know, when you order on the Realization Par site, you get a free tote with your order, which is so great for a um, multitude of things. Laundry, the grocery store, going to the farmer's market. It's so cute. And then the very last thing I'm going to talk about are my favorite pair of jeans that I think I have ever owned. And these are vintage Levi's that I got at the Reformation Vintage Store on Melrose. So it is kind of specific to LA if you are in the area. Um, that is an amazing place to find vintage jeans. These ones are very high waisted but they have a straight leg so they definitely give you that like 70s hot mom kind of look and you just really can't go wrong with them. I believe it was Callie Kaiser that told me to go to the Reformation Vintage Store and buy these jeans and I really am glad that I did and I almost hate how much I love them because they are expensive and like I wish they were you know easily accessible for everyone. If you get the chance to go to the store on Melrose they have a great selection. So that is it for all of the style makeup beauty products but I did want to mention a couple favorite music favorites. In the summer I listen to a lot of Hers, Somersault, The Symposium, and Still Woozy. Same with the new Mitski album. It is so good. You have to listen to it. Same with the new Brockhampton. I also have a new Spotify playlist, which is called Fall 18. So, you know, it's all the music that I've been listening to this season. You should totally check it out. And then I've also been listening to my old Happy playlist, which I made maybe a year or two ago. And I've been really enjoying it again. Uh, it has a lot of like the Beatles on it and just like general songs that make me happy. So there's something nice and nostalgic about that. And that is everything that I have written down. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to check out Faux Lane in the description if you want that discount code or just to see what kind of clean beauty products that they have and promote. And I will see you guys all with a new video very soon. Bye guys. <laughs>